Good morning. My name is Ed Loftus. I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and I specialize in the care of patients with ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. And today I wanted to talk to you about an article that was published in a recent issue of the journal Gastroenterology. And this was a study on a drug called vetolizumab, or Entivio, for the treatment of patients with Crohn's disease. And this trial was known as the Gemini 3 trial, and specifically it was examining the question, how well does this drug work in patients with Crohn's disease who have already been on another type of biologic drug called the anti-TNF drugs, and this includes drugs like infliximab or Remicade, adalimumab or Humira, or sertilizumab pegol or Simsia. So this trial enrolled over 400 patients, and by definition, three quarters of the patients had to have failed at least one anti-TNF agent previously. About half of those patients who had failed had actually failed two anti-TNFs, and a small percentage actually failed all three anti-TNFs that are approved for Crohn's disease. And so the primary endpoint of the trial was to look at what we call the clinical remission rate at week six. Patients received the drug at weeks zero, two, and six, and they were followed out actually until week 10. But the primary endpoint was measuring clinical remission at week six. And clinical remission was defined as a Crohn's disease activity index score of 150 or less. And this is a very commonly used score uh, in Crohn's disease clinical trials. So it turns out that the primary endpoint was not met. About 15% of patients in the vetolizumab arm uh, met the primary endpoint versus 12% in the placebo arm, and those results were not statistically significantly different. However, at week 10, the remission rates were significantly different. The placebo rate stayed the same, but the um, vetolizumab remission rate went up considerably between week 6 and 10, so the results were statistically significantly different. And then other secondary endpoints like week 6 clinical response, which was defined as a CDAI score that dropped at least 100 points, or a week 10 clinical response, all of these were statistically significantly different. And it turned out in the overall population, not just in the anti-TNF failure population, uh, the results at week 6 and week 10 were uh, significant. So technically, the trial did not meet its primary endpoint, but every other secondary endpoint basically was met. And so the message is, is that yes, this drug does work in people who have failed anti-TNF agents. Um, the message is, though, that you have to be patient with the drug and don't expect a result at week 6. By week 10, we're starting to see a separation between placebo and the drug. And I think the message is in Crohn's disease, when you're going to use this drug, don't give up on it too early. You probably need to get out to week 14 or possibly even later before making a decision as to whether or not the drug works. Thanks a lot.